1977, Jazz funk duo Sun Bear released their singular self-titled album on the Soul Train label, and from it the track Let Love Flow for Peace. <laughs> Interesting, a uh, unique arrangement right from the outset. We got all these really staccato notes, do 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 do, like uh, on two different instruments, like acoustic guitar and bass. Mixed with some piano filigree and those chimes coming in and the. And that wash of the ocean sound. Yeah, that slayed me the first time I heard it, that arp, that moog sound, yeah, just piercing out of there like that on that. I, I love that key center too, the... Uh, C7. And I also love the, the half steps that are going on. It's like bump G D D A E flat C yeah. I love the sliding of that bass too. It's like it, it, it's like one note will be kind of like staccato, the next one will kind of slide, sustain, and the way the piano is just kind of tinkling around it. arrangement wise too I mean I was I, I could have like come up with some banal simile like a cross between the brothers Johnson and Roy Ayers um, I think because Roy Ayers would have some of those like th there wouldn't necessarily be uh, vocals th there, there would just maybe be like one line kind of kind of sung in and with, with no other lyrics <laughs> some more sounds being uh, like squeezed and oozed out of that instrument. And we have got a really lengthy list of credits here. Um, well, uh, Greg uh, Fillingaines plays quite the role. He uh, plays piano on the record. Um, yeah. Our arrangements largely responsible for, um, yeah, on, on this track anyway. And um, the, let's see, acoustic guitar, Werner um, Schuckner, who, yeah, he's a uh, part part of the duo. He uh, I guess later toured with Mays, and um, played on albums by Charles Wright, Kerry Lucas, The Whispers during the nineteen seventies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here that that one sounds like oozing. We we got that high, and we've also got this other sound that's going. Like. Okay, and uh, the guy I was just mentioning, yeah, uh, Werner uh, Schuckner. He also he's giving us that that bass line too. Yeah, yeah that that bass line which is kind of like forming like the backbone of this. And then the the uh, that that moog sound giving us the earworm. Oh 
Okay, and um, the uh, Greg Filling Gaines is, I guess, is playing the Moog, as also is Roger Smith, yeah, of Tower of Power. <laughs> I love that uh, breakaway, just all the instruments like subside and suddenly we, we have that like watery piano. Oh, such a beautiful creative arrangement. Just some like selective choice bass notes, piano filigree, some cymbal spray sustain to give it more of that misty feel. I hear how the, the piano like almost plays it like it plays like double the speed of the bass. And... I've heard of, I you know, I've heard hundreds upon hundreds of these types of tracks from this era, but I can't think of any others that had an arrangement quite like that was such a where where uh, it, it was like framed bookended by that that really staccato like filigree interlocking like between bass and acoustic guitar like on a jazz funk record um with almost like kind of like classical piano in a way like and um then again i'm really surprised that the sun bear record didn't come to my attention until just recently um i mean i have almost seven I had worked through almost 1,700 albums from 1977, have worked through like um, like nearly 600 like jazz funk albums from the time period, um, and like another, you know, like 950 some odd soul records, and heck, another like 600, I, I mean, all of the digging, and, and, and then this only comes to my attention recently, and I think it finally, uh, I stumbled upon this when um, I was going through the links of uh, Greg Fillingain's uh, many, many credits. Um, as a matter of fact, it may have, this may have uh, come to my attention the around the time I did that Stevie Wonder video during the summer. I don't know. Maybe it was a little bit before then, but uh, it just, there, it, I am almost convinced that Despite all my efforts, I will never manage to hear all the great music made during the 1970s. It's like because I just keep on finding more. Yeah, let's hear another track from this album. Mood One, Love, Love. Or, interesting spelling, Mood One, L-O-V-E, Love. We got some uh, percussion going on quite a bit and more of a, a, a kind of like a windy type feel going on. <laughs> you hear that uh, vibra slap? Hearing some cowbell too. Once again, a lot of uh, staccato bass ran through it. Do, 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 do. Now that was quite welcome and quite fluid too. Yeah, I'm wondering who's. Okay, that's either uh, Ernie Watts or Bill Green. Yeah, Ernie uh, Watts had been uh, prolific around this time and a bunch of things. Um, and uh, Bill Green, oh, well, let's see. I don't know if I recognize that name. Oh, he, he goes back like uh, 
20 years before this album, yeah. <laughs> This album was uh, co-produced by Don or Don Cornelius, uh, known to many as the host of Soul Train. Yeah, and re released on the namesake label, of course, tied to the program. <laughs> really a unique arrangement yeah this band was quite original with within this this vein um like i, I on the surface i could compare this somewhat to lonnie liston smith but um he tended not to get this brisk um or have the this much filigree running through a particular track it's like we got that like do 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 and then we got that piano going da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> And the uh, percussion is really driving along too. We've got we've got several layers of percussion. We got the cowbell over here. We got the uh, the vibra slap coming on here at choice intervals over here. We've got the drum pattern. <laughs> We got this sound uh, that's kind of just filling out space. Maybe it's, that's also the piano. And the vocals just kind of. Uh, providing sort of a sonic complement that, that kind of fill out the space. And... I would say on both these tracks, though, the real star has been the, the bass work, yeah. Yeah, that was Sun Bear with Mood One, L-O-V-E, Love, and before that, let Love Flow for Peace from the 1977 album Sun Bear. The duo of bassist, well, multi-instrumentalist Werner Schuckner really uh, dominating on that. And Aguna uh, Sun, who um, gave us all that really hyperactive drum. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the between those two and and, uh, and then, of course, uh, Greg Fillin games. Yeah, a lot of very unique. Uh, Ace musicianship on some really unique arrangements that, um, despite all the hundreds upon hundreds of, al of soul funk, jazz funk albums I've heard from the mid 1970s, um, I and I, I mean hundreds, but like, pfft. well, I gave you the figure already, and then, and then this only comes to my attention just just this year, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, and I'm still kind of working through this album, I gotta say, in progress. So this is kind of more of a reaction since I, I'd only heard these tracks like a couple of times before I went on the air with them. So um, yeah, finally, finally, I'm just kind of, yeah, to, to freshen things up, I decided to um, focus this week on uh, stuff kind of on my my in queue list, you know, st stuff I haven't really worked through yet, like, um, Oh well, some of the other stuff I've done, like the um, like well, like the Ronnie Dyson video, the the Tom Rainier, um, and the Mauro Pelosi. Those those have all been um, th things I've just been kind of working through this week. Yeah. For more rubies and sapphires from the well, okay, albums like Sunbear, um, and soon to include the Sunbear album anyway. See the directory of albums by. American jazz funk artists linked in the description below for red hot tracks and purples from many albums like this by artists like uh, Lonnie Liston Smith, um, Roy Ayers, yeah, uh, Lonnie Smith, um, uh, Ike White, that album like they uh, covered many months ago, yeah, and many, many, many more from the time period. Like and subscribe.
follow me on social media and uh, leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the track we two tracks we just heard the arrangements the layers the interplay the uniqueness of it all the beauty of it all and until next time this is Aragon the world's most ear traveled Tramaximus signing off <laughs>